Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav. You can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we are going to learn how to create first Selenium test and as always, we are going to go very basic step by step and I will start from scratch and this session I am going to do on a Mac. So I have done the same session earlier on Windows. So this is for Mac users. So let's get started and the first step is we have to add the Selenium Java dependency in our project. So this is my Eclipse on Mac and this is the project and here I have pom.xml file all the project setup we have done earlier. So I hope you have seen the earlier session where we have done all this setup and here I already have the Cucumber Java J unit and Cucumber J unit. Now it's time to add the Selenium dependency. So I will go to Maven central repository and here I will search for Selenium Java and here it is Selenium Java. This is from org.seleniumhq.selenium and I will go here and you can take whatever is the latest stable version of selenium at my time version 4 is in alpha stage and then we have version 3 so let me take version 3 although in my windows demo i have used version 4 alpha version but for now let me just go here get this maven dependency and add to my pom.xml and as soon as you will save your project you will see all the dependencies getting added to your project you can see all this getting added here under the maven dependencies section and I will press command A and command I to correct the formatting here and we have done step number one step number two is I will create a feature file and add the scenario and steps so I will go to my SRC test resources features folder and do a right click new file and let us say I want to create a scenario for Google search so I will give it the name google search dot feature and click on finish so here i can create the steps so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a very simple google search test for this very simple demo and then in the later sessions i will go more deep so here i want to write something on google search box and hit enter and then check the results page so i will say feature now you may see a difference in the formatting here I have used the natural plugin in the earlier session we have added the cucumber extension so if I go to Eclipse marketplace and if I search for cucumber here and hit enter you can see we have a cucumber Eclipse plugin that we installed in the project setup demo session and I have also now taken the natural plugin so that we can check both of these so as of now here all this formatting is coming from the natural plugin and all this icons also is coming from there so let me say feature is check google search functionality and then i will say scenario validate google search is working and then steps i will say given browser is open and user is on google search page now if you see here as i am writing these steps i am getting this warning and if you go here and click you will see here it says no definition found for browser is open and this is a good thing about this natural plugin is that you will know here what steps have a definition or the backend code or the glue code and what do not have so i will say end user is on the google search page when user enters a text in google search box and hits enter then user is navigated to the search results page so i will save everything and we have done step number two Step number three is we have to create the backend code for these steps or the step definition or the glue code. So for that, I will go to the SRC test Java and under step definitions package, I will do a right click new and I will create a new class and I will say this is Google search steps 
and click on finish and now I have to add functions for every step and a easy way to do that is I will go to Google search feature file do a right click and say run as cucumber feature and then in the console I will get all these missing steps that I can implement so I'm copying this from here and I will go and paste it here now this option when I did a right click here run as cucumber feature this is coming from the cucumber extension that we added in the project setup session so this is now my step definition I will say command A and command I to correct the formatting and also here it does not take and I will have to manually change this this is and and this as well now I have to add all these classes from cucumber from where these annotations are coming so if I hover over this given I will say import from io.cucumber and it is imported and instead of importing just given I will say import from this class and star so that it will import all the other classes as well and all the errors are now gone and I'm going to delete this auto generated code so that I write I can write my own code from scratch so here you can see now we have our step definition class ready and we can add the code here step number four is we have to download the browser driver files so when you have to do automation testing with selenium we have to get the browser drivers for example if you want to run on chrome browser you have to get the chrome browser driver that is chrome driver.exe that is the chrome driver file similarly for firefox we there we get geeko driver then for safari ie etc uh, you can actually go and check on the selenium website which is selenium.dev and here you can see this is the website you will see all the documentation here if i go to downloads here you can see all the downloads for selenium all the earlier versions selenium grid ie driver server then we have all these bindings for selenium in different programming languages that you can get from here and then here if you scroll down we have a browsers section and here we have all these browsers i'm going to get for chrome driver i will say click on this documentation it takes me to the chrome driver downloads page now you can directly also go here if you just search for download chrome driver on google and it will take you to this chrome driver downloads page now here you will see different versions of chrome driver uh, you can get the latest version or if the latest version does not work you can check your version of chrome on your system so if i click on these three dots this is my chrome if i go to help and about google chrome and check the version so here it is a uh, version 81 so i can either get the 81 version or let me just check with the latest version which is 83 i will click here and then i will download for mac so here i will click for mac 64 this will download as zip folder and by the time it gets downloaded i will go to my project and i will create a folder where i can keep all my drivers so i will go to src test resources package do a right click new and save folder and here i will say this is drivers and finish i will keep all my drivers here now you can keep the driver at any location on your system however it is good to keep it within the project so that when you take this project somewhere else your drivers will also go along the project so let me wait for this to get downloaded so this is downloaded i will go to the folder or go to my finder and here it is i will unzip it and here it is now i will copy this i'll press command c and and i will go to my drivers folder and just say command v and paste it here now one thing that i have faced on my mac is and you may also face this when we directly add this driver uh, file or this executable file inside the project inside eclipse it does not get copied properly if i go to this project folder i will do a right click and go to properties or let me directly go to the drivers folder right click properties 
and click this so that it goes to the drivers folder you can see here this is how the chrome driver looks like however if i see here it should be an executable file like this so if you see this is a unix executable and I, if i see here it is like a text document so what you can do is you can open the folder physically on the system and then copy from your downloads folder and then paste it here so you can see now it is coming properly as a unix executable i will keep it here and replace and now if i go to my project and refresh the drivers folder you will see the changes i will see say refresh and although here you may not see change in the icon but now this is fine so this is one thing that you may have to do and we have done step number four now i can start writing the selenium web driver code and this is the actual code that will run our test so i have to open the browser first so at the top of all the functions i will say web driver driver equals null and i am keeping this at the top so that driver can be used in all the functions and it is global and here i am getting error for web driver if i hover over this i will have to get this import from org openqa.selenium and i will do this and you can see now it is imported and this import is coming from the selenium java dependency that we have added in our pom.xml so now i will say system dot get property and here i have to say web driver dot chrome dot driver and then i have to give the location of the driver file which is this so i will do a right click properties and this is the location uh, let me check if i can use the relative location here i will provide this here and that's it and now i will say driver equals chrome i can press control spacebar on my keyboard for auto suggestion i should be saying this as new chrome driver and yes this is fine and here i can also say driver dot manage dot timeouts so sometimes if the application is slow or the internet is slow you can increase the timeout or manage timeouts from here i will say dot implicit wait and i will give some time here let us say 20 seconds and i will also have to tell this is in seconds so i will say time unit dot seconds and that's it and if you now see the imports you can see this time unit is also imported i can also say so implicit wait is sometimes our page gets loaded but some objects do not get loaded along with the page or some objects are a little slower to load than other objects and if we take action on that before they are loaded it can result in failure so it is better to set some implicit weight and you can increase this if your application or network is slow and then i will also say driver dot manage dot timeouts dot i will also add the page load timeout and i can just copy this part from here and this is also i have set to 30 seconds so this you can change as per your application response and then if you want you can also say driver dot manage dot windows uh, dot maximize so if you want to run in a maximized window so this will open the browser uh, let me check before adding further steps if this is working fine i will go to my google search feature file do a right click and run as cucumber feature and let us see the execution so some issue here let me check the console output so let me try to give the complete path first and see this uh, this is my chrome driver so here i'll do a right click on chrome driver file properties and i'm going to copy this complete path i will show you how you can get a relative path as well i'll copy this and provide this here so this should be fine now uh, let me try to uh, open the feature files using the cucumber extension and not the natural extension i will 
go to Eclipse preferences and go to general editors file associations and here we have dot feature file so this is the cucumber editor which I believe is coming from the natural extension I will say editor this cucumber editor so I will make this default and apply and close and yes now this is you can see this has changed the icon as well and now I will save this or it's better I will copy all this and create a new feature file I'll say new file Google search 2 dot feature now you may not have to do all this in case you are doing uh, in case you are facing the same issue you can still do this and if I do a right click I am also getting all these options pretty format is there and if I now run from here cucumber feature let me check now this did not help I am getting the same issue and it is actually not getting the file or directory uh, one thing I can do here is just to check until where this is running I can add some print statements inside the functions I will say syso control spacebar to autocomplete and I will say starting this browser is open and here I will say ending browser is open save it and let me try this again I will run as cucumber feature so here it is going to this uh, function but then it is saying no such file or directory so let me see there is some issue here inside this function alright so the issue is this should be set property not get property and I believe I made the same mistake uh, in the windows session uh, but that's fine so I will not edit out all these troubleshooting steps so that you can also see this in case you are facing the same issue uh, let me save everything and I'll do a right click run as cucumber feature again and yes looks like this should work now it opens the chrome browser and that's it we have not added any other step so this is fine now I will go back to my step definition and I can add other steps and before that let me also show you how you can get a relative path instead of adding a absolute path for chrome driver file so here I will say system dot get property and the property I will get is user dot dir and this will get the location of the project folder which is cucumber java demo one in this case and I'm just going to store it into a string I will say string project path equals this and then I can also print out the project path just to verify it is correct I will say project path is and I will say plus project path and then here as well before the project path all this thing I am going to delete and then I will just say project path plus this so even this I can delete or I can just start from the project path from here uh, let me save this and check if this works fine I will run the feature file again so if I see here okay project path is until here I will also have to delete this so it starts from src folder I will save this and now run this and now this should be running fine it opens the chrome browser and everything is fine so now I will write other steps I am going to the second step which is to go on the Google search page and for that I will say driver dot navigate dot to and here I will say HTTPS google.com and here I have to add some text in the Google search box and for that I need to locate the Google search box so if I go to Google this is the search box I will do a right click and say inspect 
and here it will show me all the properties of this particular element that is the search box and you can see this is highlighted here so here we have this section for google search box and this is of type input and you can see there are different properties like name so we have name equals q and i can use this and just in case you are completely new and want to learn how to create locators and how to find elements you can go on my website automationstepbystep.com and here if you scroll down you will find a section on xpath and web locators go here uh, this will take you to this youtube playlist where you can see all these videos how to create xpath and then there are some tools like scree that you can use to automatically generate locators for your objects and elements so you can do that for now i will say driver dot find element and if you do not get these auto suggestions you can always press control spacebar on your keyboard and here i will say by dot name because we have the name property there and this is the name is q and now i will say dot send keys and i can put anything let us say i put my name here there and then after this i have to hit enter and for hitting enter again i will use the same element because i have to provide some element where i will want to hit enter and then i will again say send keys and i will say this is keys dot enter now this keys is a class in selenium if you scroll up you will see this keys is getting imported from here and that's what i'm using it will mimic the pressing of enter key on the keyboard and then finally i have to check if the user is on the search page and for that let me try this if i search for my name here on google and hit enter uh, this is what i get so i can maybe check anything here so let's just say i i will check this particular text this will verify i am on the search page so i can say here driver dot get page source dot contains and i will give the text here it should contain this i can just put this like only this much and that's it and after this i will say driver dot close so that it closes the driver and driver dot quit and this is now my entire class or the step definition for the feature file so let me try this now i will go to the feature file do a right click run as cucumber feature and let us see the execution opens the chrome browser goes to google.com enters text and yes this is working fine and it also closes the browser so this all is now working fine and the step number six we have already done we have executed and checked the execution and i hope this was useful for you you can also practice some more examples and in the coming sessions i will do sessions on some more examples from web applications i hope this was useful i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching